In this video, we'll be showing you the step-by-step -step process of launching ads, posts, and creative clusters into existing ad sets within the ad account with the Magix Ad Launcher. Consider the Ad Launcher as a content hub that contains all of your existing ads. You can use it to easily launch winning ads into campaigns and ad sets with just a few clicks. The tool determines an ad's performance by using advanced algorithms to unify data from all of your ads, providing you with the most accurate metrics. By hovering over each of your ads, you can find the data you need in order to launch the right ones. You may notice that by default, the ad picker sorts them by ROAS if your account is set to e-commerce or cost per lead if you do by lead generation, but you can always change this metric. You should also use your smart filtering to view results by audience, segments, device, placement, and more, essentially removing the guessing game of which ad is most likely to perform in the ad sets that you are launching into. If you created a new ad in the Ads Manager, or you're unable to find your ad in the Ad Picker, you can manually pull it in using either its Ad or Post ID in the tabs on the right-hand side. You can also save several ads as grouped presets for future creations. Something to mention here is that when using existing ads in Magix, we always aim to preserve social proof using the same Post ID. This way, any likes, comments, or shares you may have had in the original ad will be carried over in your creation. You will also notice three additional tabs, which are Creative Clusters, Facebook Posts, and Instagram Posts. Creative Clusters is a tool that allows you to create new combinations of your top performing creatives and your best ad copies. This way, you can scale your winning assets without having to revisit the drawing board of the creation process. Within the Ad Picker, you can choose to add as many ads, posts, and clusters as you wish, essentially letting you mass launch them into your existing ad sets. If you are using existing ads, you may notice on the next step that your selected ads may be automatically excluded from some of the ad sets. This is done in order to avoid duplicating ads into ad sets in which they already exist. Once you're done, just click Next and that's it! You'll quickly see the power of this tool as it makes launching hundreds of ads an instantaneous process.